You first. Now is the time to treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. By Stephen Sisler is a transformative guide emphasizing the importance of self-prioritization and the obligation we have to take care of ourselves. Sisler approaches the subject by confronting common patterns where individuals place their own needs on the back burner while attending to the needs of others. The premise of the book is built around the idea that to truly be effective in helping others, we must first address our own needs and well-being. Stephen Sisler opens with the observation that many people find it easier to be compassionate and caring towards others than themselves. From this starting point, the book ventures into a comprehensive examination of why this imbalance occurs and how it can be corrected. Sisler points out that this tendency to neglect oneself is deeply ingrained in various societal, cultural, and familial norms which teach individuals that selflessness is virtuous while self-care is often misconstrued as selfishness. The author refutes this notion by drawing on psychological theories and real-life experiences to demonstrate that self-care is not only beneficial but essential. Sisler makes the case that when we neglect ourselves, we compromise our physical, emotional, and mental health, which in turn affects our ability to be there for others. He urges readers to see self-care as a responsibility akin to caring for a loved one. By making ourselves a priority, we lay the groundwork for a healthier and more balanced life. The message of the book pivots around developing a new mindset. Sisler asks readers to reframe their thinking about self-care by imagining themselves as someone they are responsible for helping. This paradigm shift is crucial for individuals to move past guilt and embrace self-preservation as a necessary act. Through empathy for oneself, we can extend the same attentiveness and regard that we would offer to someone in our care. By doing so, we learn to set boundaries, pursue personal growth, and engage in activities that nourish our own needs. Central to the book's philosophy is the emphasis on self-awareness. According to Sisler, understanding one's own motivations, aspirations, and limitations is the cornerstone of effective self-care. Insight into oneself enables a person to make conscious choices that align with their intrinsic values and goals. Consequently, the act of treating oneself well becomes an intentional practice rather than a sporadic response. An important part of this self-awareness journey is recognizing and addressing one's own emotional and psychological barriers. Sisler delves into common impediments like low self-esteem, perfectionism, and burnout, offering strategies to tackle these challenges head-on. He underscores that breaking free from these constraints requires courage and self-compassion, often necessitating a reprioritization of one's time and resources. In advocating for self-care, Sisler acknowledges that balance is key. While it is vital to treat oneself well, it is equally important to maintain a sense of purpose and connection to others. Sisler points towards community, relationships, and meaningful work as components that enrich one's life. Therefore, the pursuit of self-care should not lead to isolation, but rather exist in harmony with other essential facets of living a fulfilled life. To assist readers in putting these concepts into practice, Sisler provides practical advice and exercises. He encourages setting aside time for introspection and self-reflection, promoting hobbies and interests that bring joy, and learning to routinely check in with oneself, much like one would with a friend or loved one. These consistent actions cultivate a sustainable habit of self-care that can lead to long-term benefits. Moreover, the book addresses the need for resilience and adaptability. Sisler advocates for flexibility in one's approach to self-care, highlighting that needs and circumstances change over time. As such, our methods for looking after ourselves must also evolve. He encourages readers to be mindful of the internal dialogue and narratives they hold about themselves, stressing the importance of a positive and forgiving self-talk as a support system for growth and recovery. Throughout You First, Sisler writes with empathy and insight, acknowledging the challenges faced in shifting one's focus inward in a world that often demands outward attentiveness. By offering a compassionate and analytical perspective, he provides both inspiration and practical tools for those looking to embrace self-care and, in turn, enhance their ability to contribute positively to the lives of others. The ultimate takeaway from the book is a potent and liberating one. 
By practicing consistent and mindful self-care, individuals can not only improve their own lives, but also become more effective in their roles as caregivers and supporters of others. Sisler emphasizes that this approach is not just a luxury, it's a fundamental aspect of leading a balanced and meaningful life. You first. Now is the time to treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping, concludes with a call to action for readers to start making themselves a priority without delay. With the blend of anecdotal evidence and practical guidance, Sisler empowers readers to the necessary steps to care for themselves in the same dedicated manner they would care for someone else, thereby achieving a greater sense of fulfillment and well-being. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.